Good afternoon. My name is Brian Rose, and for almost six years now, I've had the pleasure of serving Binghamton University as Vice President for Student Affairs. One of the wonderful privileges of my position is having the honor of introducing the student graduation speaker at this ceremony each year. Now, as all of you sit out there in your caps and gowns, we hope you've developed a strong bond to Binghamton University, that you take pride in being a Bearcat, and that you'll stay engaged with us as volunteers, advocates, and supporters. Our student speaker this afternoon has been doing that for years already. Sarah Kapitko of Blairstown, New Jersey, graduates today with her BA in history and plans to attend law school. Like many of today's graduates, she has given her time to help and serve others. Through Foundation for Peace, Sarah has helped construct a childcare facility in the Dominican Republic and also helped coordinate relief shipments to Haiti after the 2010 earthquake. What Sarah is really known for, though, is her passion for Binghamton University. For the last two years, Sarah has been one of our top tour guides for prospective students visiting the campus. So, she's also worked for the admissions office as a student ambassador, and this past summer coordinated the entire campus tour program. Some of the students who will be sitting in your chairs in a few years will be there because of Sarah. She's also shown her school spirit as a member of our spirit group, the BU Zoo. So normally she'd be seated in those bleachers back behind our graduates, and I'm sure she'd feel comfortable if those of you sitting there would wave frenetically during her speech. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the podium, Ms. Sarah Kapitko. Sorry, I'm losing my hat. Good afternoon, soon-to-be alumni, professors, teaching assistants, tutors, coworkers, teammates, families, and friends. And welcome to another beautiful day in the Southern Tier. As Dr. Seuss once said, congratulations. Today is your day. You're off to great places. You're off and away. You have brains in your head. You have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself any direction you choose. You're on your own, and you know what you know, and you are the one who will decide where to go. Although sometimes throughout our college career, it felt like the brains in our head had turned to mush and fallen on the floor, and at times we were so late to class that we ran out of our rooms without shoes, he's right. This is the moment we've been preparing for, and now it's all up to us. We know what we know, and hopefully what we know will take us somewhere. During the winter break of my sophomore year of college, I traveled home to the great state of New Jersey. My mom and I were standing in the kitchen baking Christmas cookies, the typical mother-daughter bonding activity of the holidays. I can't tell you what we were laughing about, but boy, were we laughing. I was having a hard time standing up, and my mom was having a hard time keeping the tea she was drinking from coming out of her nose. When breathing had regulated and we had calmed down a bit, she very simply but very seriously said, Sarah Elizabeth, you do not need to be funny to have friends. At that moment, all I was thinking was, how am I going to turn this into a joke? I somehow maintained eye contact without breaking a smile, which is typically very difficult for me, forced a single tear from my eye, and in a quivering voice said, all those years of forcing jokes and embarrassing myself when all I wanted was to be me. Thanks, Mom. She then looked at me with a look that only my mother could conjure, known in my family as the Randolph look. It only took her a very short time to pick up on my sarcasm, and before we knew it, we were both laughing uncontrollably again. I retold this story over and over again to my friends who provided me with the same humorous reaction as I had gotten from my mom, and it turned into a joke. You don't need to be funny to have friends, Sarah. Little did I know, my mom had hit the nail right on the head. For those of you who don't know me, you will never understand my love for Jimmy Fallon. If I had the proper anatomy, I would be striving to be Jimmy Fallon. If he weren't already married with children, I would have proposed at least 27 times. For those of you who do know me, some of you kind of understand my love for Jimmy Fallon. And considering I mailed Jimmy Fallon a ticket to this graduation ceremony, he should be somewhere in this arena right now listening. 
but I'm not really sure he'll understand it either. Jimmy Fallon taught me how to be funny. He showed me that it was okay to be funny and that life would be so much easier if we just laughed every once in a while. Little did I know that I would find other amazing role models right here at Binghamton University that would teach me other important things. The history department, with its amazing faculty and helpful staff, helped me to realize that I love history, not chemistry. <laughs> no offense. <laughs> Professor Stephen Ortiz showed me how important it is to make a connection with those around you, instead of treating them just like a number on a roster. Professor Melissa Collins taught me the importance of breathing and being calm and collected, skills I thought I had mastered until I took wellness through yoga. She also reminded me that I have really tight hamstrings, which makes doing a head past the knee pose really difficult, but that's not really important today. John Riley helped me to improve my research skills by providing me with great resources and endless answers to my many questions, while Brett Palferman taught me how to write a great paper by pushing me and questioning me and reading countless drafts until I had the guts to respond and defend my argument. I'm sure every student in this room has had similar experiences with their professors and teaching assistants, all fantastic individuals with the strong desire to see us succeed, and succeed we will. Mom told me I didn't need to be funny to have friends. You don't need to love, a, love history or write a good paper or be able to do research to have friends either. Some people may not want to be your friend because you love history so much and won't ever shut up about it and want to stop at every possible historical site along the road. But the things that we've learned here at Binghamton will make us outstanding candidates for the life after our undergraduate years. We will need to work our way up the ladder once again, just as we've done countless times before, from elementary school to middle school to high school and into college. But whether it be research skills, speed reading skills, people skills, interview skills, public speaking skills, or volunteer experience, all that Binghamton University teaches us will automatically bring us closer to the top. And as far as friends go, <laughs> all you have to be is you. Binghamton University is a place where you can be exactly who you are and say exactly what you think and how you feel. And whether it's a future maid of honor, or maybe a best man, maybe someone you could see yourself spending the rest of your life with, a potential business partner, or maybe just some great friends. I can guarantee that we have all found the people who matter to us here. What I'd like you to take away from this day is that all you have to be is you to succeed. Being ourselves is what got us to this day and it will carry us through the years to come. Franklin Delano Roosevelt bravely stated that the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. And for us, the graduates of Binghamton University, there has never been a truer statement. We have brains in our heads and we have feet in our shoes and we can travel in any direction we choose. Binghamton has taught us the lessons, our friends and families have provided the support, and now it's up to us to head up to the great places and add to the great experience that is life. There is nothing to fear. So congratulations to the class of 2013. It's been a pleasure spending time with you and I wish you all the best of luck.